everybody, and welcome back to The Sims 4. Today, I'm going to be building a tiny home. Here is the sim that we're building this house for. His name is Steve, and his cat's name is Snugs. Steve is a creative cat lover who's also a little bit unflirty. We're going to build him a small home today. I'm going to go ahead and jump into build mode here so that we can change the residential lot type to tiny home. How tiny do we want to go is the question. I think with the cat, we might need a little extra space. So let's just go with the tier three and we'll do a small home today. And uh, let's see what we can come up with. All right, so we're just gonna jump right into it here. Uh, I gotta start with a base, of course. Um, so one thing about me, I've been playing Sims for a very, very long time. Um, I think probably since about maybe like 2009 or so, I've been playing. Um, I started off with The Sims 2, and I was obsessed with The Sims 2, to the point where I had it on my laptop, and I would just sit there and play for, play on it for hours and hours, to the point where I would burn my legs from the heat of the laptop. <laughs> it was an, it was a very strong obsession, uh, pretty much since day one. <laughs> But over the years, I've learned how to pace myself a little bit. I actually ended up selling my game because I realized I had a problem. And I was like, the only way I'm going to solve this problem is if I just get rid of the game. So I got rid of it. And then um, Sims 3 came out, bought it, and I was right back in it. Um, so, of course, then when Sims 4 came out, I had to have that too. Um, my mom actually bought that for me because I was sick one day and it was new and so I was home from school and she bought it for me and I played it all day long <laughs> and um, and then my boyfriend actually got me the Sims 2 for Christmas a couple years ago so I, I have that one as well just big Sims fan but anyway my whole point in that spiel is the fact that I've been playing for a long time but I have never really been a builder. Um, I've always been that family gameplay type of person to where I just have generations and generations of families with lots and lots of siblings and kids and, you know, make them get up, go to work, and try to earn money and make a living, which I don't know why I can never have Sims that have money. My Sims are always broke. I don't understand it, but that's beyond me anyway not much of a builder but um, it's been kind of a goal of mine lately to kind of push myself with building a little bit more to try to make myself build a bit more and maybe try to branch out a little bit um, I do notice that after I finish this I kind of lack some decoration I don't know I think it just comes with the fact that like I said my sims are always poor and so I never have enough money for decorations really uh, so they just don't really cross my mind when I'm building or furnishing a home but it's fine I promise on the next build I will try to do better and try to add more pizzazz and trinkets and clutter and just stuff into the house and on the walls um, you'll see what I'm talking about. I, I add plants. Plants are nice, but like I have quite a few bare walls and, and that's just how it is in this one. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but anyway, so at this point, I'm trying to just figure out the floors, um, trying to figure out where I think things are going to go, playing around with the kitchen. It's going to be kind of a, you know, a small little galley kitchen, which is fine. It's just him and his cat, you know, it doesn't matter. Steve, Steve's got everything he needs in this house, okay? Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sitting here like, well, what do I say now? Um, basically, just, I wanted to try to keep in mind that Steve was is creative, right? And so I didn't want him to have like a super boring home, but I also didn't want it to go really crazy either. And so here I was playing with some more like neutrals and blues, um, but I kind of get away from the neutrals later on because I was started to realize that they were just a little too neutral for a creative sim. 
Um, and I wanted him to have a little more fun in his home. And so I kind of went with more of like the blueies, the blue colors and the teals um, with like hints of the, of the softer neutrals to complement them. This always takes the longest time for me is trying to figure out the walls and the floors. Um, finally, starting on some furnishings. This bathroom is just really, really simple. You just needed, you know, the basics and then had to add the little litter box for Snugs because Snugs has to have a place to go too. Um, laying out just a couple of cat items since Steve is a cat lover and he wants to make sure his furry friend has everything that she needs to be comfortable and happy in her home too. Um, yes, I always add rugs into bathrooms. I don't know if anybody else does, but I, I always do. Even in my personal bathroom at home, we have two rugs in, in there. I just like rugs. Who wants to like step out of the bathtub and have just like standing water on the floor? Not me, I'd much rather step on a rug so that my feet don't slip out from underneath me and I fall flat on my face or something, right? Like, I can't be the only one that thinks that. Um, here I'm just trying to, see I add a little bit of decor, right? I, I love curtains in the game. Curtains are so cute. Um, here I'm trying to, I had so much blue in this room. I was like, I've got to add a little more color. And Snugs is a girl, and so it's like, you know, she can have some fun colors. And then I like, turned this little area into like a cat cat wall, I guess you can say. It's just gonna be a whole bunch of things to do with cats, just cat decals um, from get to work and stuff like that. Cat corner is what I'm calling it, the cat corner. Um, again, rugs. I love rugs in The Sims. I pretty much use a rug in like almost every room and every build that I do. Even if I don't have enough money for a rug, I'll go and I'll delete something else and then be like, oh yeah, I need a rug. So I'm gonna find a rug instead. Be like, who needs the trash can? Rug's more important. <laughs> um, I think, am I starting to move on to the kitchen here now? Yeah. Okay, so like I said, it's just a simple little galley kitchen. You don't really need much, got everything you need. Um, the fridge, sink, and, and oven slash stove. Functional, great, done. Um, there is a trash can. I didn't have to delete the trash can for a curtain this time. <laughs> um, just, you know, putting some, see some plants in there, my little tiny effort for, <laughs> for decor. Uh, realized I can't put a smoke detector on the wall because it's only a half wall, so hopefully Steve is okay at cooking and doesn't try to burn the house down like every Sim does. A little tiny dining area for him, um, and just a little decor on the side there, cute little hutch. I don't think I've ever actually used that item before, but he had some extra little space over there, and it was part of the dining room, and it looked cute, so I kept it. Um, here I am actually putting some stuff on the walls because those looked really bare to me. And so I added food related things because, you know, why not, right? Um, and then moving on to the tiny little living room. I was playing around with this wicker furniture, but then I realized that it totally does not fit what theme we're going, or not even a theme, but I don't know. It just doesn't fit his style in my mind. Um, so I went with this dark blue couch because I realized like there's not really a lot of dark blue. Everything in the house was pretty light. And so I was like, maybe I'll throw something dark in there and see how that goes. And then I was just playing around with the trunk color and I was like, oh yeah, more blues. Um, and then I started thinking about it and I was like, man, that's a lot of blue though. And I found this cat rug and I was like, hold on a second, now I'm inspired. <laughs> and so I changed everything in that room to match the cat rug. So here we are tying back in with like the little bits of neutrals um, to tie back in and complement those blues and teals. And I actually, I really, really love how the, the little living room looks like with the, the cute little cat rug. Um, but yeah, so now I'm moving into just this tiny little back porch area. Like I said, creative sim, so I thought maybe he could be a painter because that's creative. And then I just added a couple of little lights and um, what else did I put? A bonsai tree for whatever reason, I guess, side hobby. <laughs> 
um, move in the mailbox and put in the trash can out front because you got to have that big trash can. And here is the final build. And I will get ready to take you through the little inside tour, the little close up, um, you know, first look. Not really first look, you've seen it be built, but you know what I mean. So let's go ahead and just get on in there and get that closer sim first point of view. Walk in into the little living room. You see all the little cat toys and areas for the cat to hang out and for Steve to cuddle the cat on the couch. And then we walk over here and we see the little dining area go around the half wall and you see the little kitchen. Notice the bare walls I was talking about. I could have added stuff there, but I didn't even, I didn't even think about it. <laughs> and maybe one day I'll come back and, and redo this. Um, walking into his bedroom here, I honestly think that this bedroom turned out pretty cute. Um, with the cat corner and everything, I think it's pretty fitting. And then we'll go out here and we'll go into the little tiny bathroom. Just everything you need in that little room. Ta-da! And then uh, we'll go out the back door onto the back porch. See the bonsai tree and the painting easel. And that's really the whole house. Um, it was a small home. I used exactly 100 tiles. Um, and here you can see just the overall view of the house again and it's total, um, I don't know, it's beauty, right? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Anyways, um, I really hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did like the video, go ahead and leave a like. Let me know in the comments below what kind of videos you'd like to see next, whether they're Sims related or not Sims related. Um, I really like playing pretty much any game, so I'm open to suggestions on what you would like to see. And don't forget to subscribe also so that you can be notified next time I upload something. And I hope that you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later. Bye.